Hello everyone, I'm Zoe from Telecam and today's video is about creating a playlist on Vimix, helping you to create a layer of automation to your Vimix production. Well, the first thing I have to do is to add some inputs into Vimix because the uh, playlist is actually based on the inputs that has already existed in Vimix. Well, the first thing I added is a NDI source captured by one of our PDZ cameras, the Vision Plus 4KN mounted on a tripod and two video sources. One is a 4K60 video, another one is a video about our Vidroid Plus control keyboard and then a logo of Telecam. The first thing we're gonna do is to click the button right next to playlist. So by default, it's going to be empty here and the inputs you have added into the mix will be displayed on the left. To start with, click new playlist. Since I want this playlist to be like the opening of my personal show, so that's how I'm going to name it, opening of Zoe's show. Click OK and then here you can select the first input you want to display. While well, the logo always goes first, click logo and then click the arrow button. It will automatically go to the first of your playlist. Well, the second video I'd like to play is the 4K60 video, then my personal shot and the control keyboard. And now if you want to delete one of the inputs out of the playlist, you can just simply choose it and then click the left arrow button to delete the input. Now I'm just gonna put it back again. Click it, right arrow button, and I still want my 4K60 video to be the second. Then I can choose it, adjust the sequence by clicking the up and down button. Now my 4K60 video goes back to the second position. There you go. For advanced settings, all we have to do is to double click the input and you will see some parameters that you can choose in this interface. For starting position, well actually for pictures, I just gonna leave it as zero because I wanna play the whole thing. There's not many options you can choose from. And for my opening, I really want the picture to be displayed for three seconds. So I'm just gonna type in zero three in the duration box and then the transition effects. There are many transition you can choose from. Fade, zoom, I'll just leave this one as slide. Okay, for the transition duration, well, the unit here is millisecond. 500 millisecond is actually 0 0.5 second. I just leave it as 500. And for the display type, you can choose normal or overlay but I didn't set up any overlays here, so I just go with normal and click OK. Now for the video here, the video is pretty long, it's gonna last for like a minute or two. I don't want it to play for that long, so I'm gonna choose the duration for like six seconds. And if you want the video to play from the middle, set up your time here, for example, um, you want it to play for like the 10th second or like the second minute, you can just type the number here. That is minute and that is hour. I'll just leave this one as 10 and the duration for six seconds. Well, the transition here, I'm gonna leave it as vibe reverse, 500 normal, okay. And for my personal shot, all I want to do is to say a quick hi and I think four seconds will do so I'll leave the duration as zero 04. Merge 500 normal okay and for the control keyboard the whole video only lasts for nine seconds so I want it to play the whole thing in circumstances like this I'll just leave the starting position as zero, duration as zero, because you want to play the whole thing. And cut 500, normal, okay. Now let's see how it works. Before you actually start playing your playlist, don't forget to click clear overlays. If you want to play it all over again once it's finished, 
you can choose loop, then start. And there's a green arrow here showing you which one is playing. Hi everyone, welcome to my show. It's a bit longer than I expected, than the, the control keyboard. But while it's playing, you can actually manually skip the video to the next one. That's how you create a playlist. And if you want to close it, just simply click playlist again. There you go. That's pretty much about creating a playlist.